So I'm here in Trinity's uh, library today and uh, doing so on purpose. As many of you know, I'm going to be away for two weeks starting uh, on Sunday, the day that you're viewing this, or at least viewing it first. And it's been a while that there's been some, uh, some time away. And a number of people have asked me, well, where are you going? Well, for a weekend at least, we're going out to Pittsburgh, which is both business and pleasure. But for the rest of the days, I plan on going right here. Not traveling anywhere, not getting in the car, not going to an amusement park or a water park or anywhere else, but going in here. Because I think the time is best spent in discernment, in reflection, in listening. So I guess I'm going here too. I happened to grab a book off the shelf right behind me, uh, ironically called Jesus in the Wilderness Seeds of the Gospel. <laughs> then, of course, I recognized another book that probably more suits me, and that's the Idiot's Guide to Prayer. <laughs> There's a song that was written by Ira and George Gershwin many years ago, and it was popularized by Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. You might, remem you might remember it if I sing a bar or two, and so forgive me. <laughs> it goes something like, Summertime, and the living is easy. It goes on to say, The fish are jumping and the cotton is high. You know, these days the overtones or undertones of that song are, are a bit uh, troublesome. But those first two lines stick with me, summertime and the living is easy. Well, at least it's supposed to be. Kids are supposed to be playing on playgrounds while they're off of school. Work situations are supposed to be a little bit less. But it hasn't been like that for at least the last two summertimes, this one and, and last year. And so there hasn't been a lot of easy living. There hasn't been a whole lot of time to rest and reflect, to pray and to listen to what God is trying to call each and every one of us to. I don't remember, maybe you have read in the Bible and I skimmed over it, I don't remember that Jesus ever had a chance to take a Mediterranean cruise, um, well, like the kind that we think of, or that there were any water parks or amusement parks in ancient Israel. So we don't hear about Jesus taking specific time off or, or sort of lowering the bar for his ministry. His ministry just kept sort of coming to him. But he did take time off. He found it in places where he could find it. He found it at times where he could find it. He would go up mountains or away from crowds or out in a boat or wherever he could. And I presume that what he was doing was listening and praying and thinking and understanding his heart and where his ministry was at that time. And that's what I endeavor to do for the next uh, two weeks. So you'll be lucky to have uh, our new staff person, Debbie, lead one of the resets. Dave Moyman's going to do one of the resets, and so uh, I'm excited for you to see what their ministry and what their witness is. But in the meantime, this isn't just about me. It's about you, too. Church ministry these days doesn't really ever stop. But each of us is called, each of us is strongly encouraged by the Holy Spirit to take time where we can get it. Sometimes that's every morning or every night at, at prayer or meditation. Sometimes that is getting away to uh, the woods or the water or uh, the, the local monastery or wherever it might be that is a place of peace for you. But we cannot survive in ministry. None of us, any of us, cannot survive in ministry unless we follow Jesus' example unless we follow his example of getting away for just a little bit, for finding as Jesus' Father, God said to us in the third commandment, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. 
There's a lot of great books about prayer and spirituality and Sabbath and everything right here in our library that you can use anytime, anytime you want, and I encourage you to do so. Or talk to me or some of our other staff about prayer practices or times and places that you can get away and rest and renew and, and make it feel like summertime is at least a little bit easy, even if it doesn't feel like it all the time. So, I'll see you in a couple of weeks um, for Reset again. But until then, I encourage you to listen, to pay attention, to pray, <laughs> and to do whatever you can to feel God's restful hand upon you. Thanks.
trade my fear for your peace Take it all Take it all